Hello everyone, it's Shibana Amri, the computer teacher again. I've come up with a lesson which is related with careers in information technology as we are doing fundamentals of computers. And along with that, we'll be discussing computer hardware and some storage devices as well. If we talk about careers in information technology, the very first one which comes into our mind is software engineer. Software engineer is a highly skilled person in the field of IT whose responsibilities involve the anal analysis, design, implementation, and also maintenance of computer software. Software engineer can be further classified into two categories. The first one is programmer. Programmer is actually, they are the IT professionals who have extensive knowledge and expertise in programming languages. They perform the computer, they program the computer by writing step-by-step -step instructions that tell the computer what to do. Computer programmers write programs to solve problems related with business, education, engineering, government offices, hospitals, entertainments, schools, and so many more. The second category of software engineer is system analyst. System analysts analyze the data processing requirements of organization and develop information systems to implement them. They investigate problems, plan solutions, and recommend the type of hardware and software required for implementing the solution. Then it comes hardware engineer. Hardware engineer designs and manufacture computer hardware. Their work also involves preparing and maintenance of computer hardware. They have in-depth knowledge of internal working of computers, processors, circuit boards, and other electronic equipment. Then it comes network administrator. Network administrator are responsible for installation, configuration and maintenance of computer networks in any organization. They are in charge of maintenance of computer hardware and software that make up a computer network. They assign passwords to network users so that unauthorized people do not have access to networks. Then database administrator. Database administrator is a person who is responsible for the design, implementation, and maintenance of a database in an organization. He is also responsible for maintaining security and monitoring the performance of database. Then, web designer. Web designer is a person who jo whose job is to plan and create websites. He designs web pages that include text, images, sound, video clips, and make the website interactive. HTML, which is in short, Hypertext markup language is the most commonly used language for creating websites. Then multimedia designer. Multimedia designers are people who organize and present information in an easy to understand and attractive manner. They combine text, graphics, animation, audio and video. Multimedia designers create digital images and arrange them in sequence for animation using computer software. Information security analyst. Information security analyst is a person whose job is to protect information and information system from unauthorized access, use, modification, recording or destruction. He implements procedures and policies to ensure information security within the organization. Computer teacher. Computer teacher teaches the subject of computer science to students who make to make them computer literate. He or she conducts lessons on how to operate computers and the working principles and concepts of computer hardware. He also teaches how to develop computer programs using various programming languages. These were all the careers in information technology. Now the next topic which we are going to cover today is computer hardware.
Computer hardware refers to the physical components that make up a computer system. The parts which we can touch, they are the physical components. Hardware components of computer. Hardware components of computer systems are classified into input devices, system unit, storage devices, output devices, and memory. Input devices, all the devices used to feed data into the computer are known as input devices. Input devices also allow us to communicate with the computer. Some commonly used the input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, scanner, barcode reader, digital camera and touch screen and many more. Keyboard, it is the main input device to communicate with the computer. It allows the computer user to enter letters, numbers and special symbols into the computer. Second input device is mouse. It is a handheld device used to control the movement of cursor or pointer on the screen. It has two or three buttons at the front that allows the computer user to make selection in menu, draw graphics, or open files, folders, and programs. Microphone, it is a device that allows computer user to input audio into the computer. It changes audio signals into electric signals, which are translated into digital form by the sound card for processing in the computer scanner. It is a device that captures images from photographs, magazines, books, etc., and stores them in computer and digital form. These images can be edited, displayed on the screen, or inserted in documents. Barcode reader. It is a device that reads the barcode printed or products, barcode printed on products that represent product code, description, and its price. This information is used by the computer to print bill for the customer. Digital camera. It is a device used to capture pictures and store them in digital form. These pictures can be downloaded, downloaded to computer for editing, viewing, or inserting in documents. Touch screen is the last input we are going to discuss today. It is a pressure sensitive display screen that is used to interact with the computer by touching pictures or words with fingers. Touch screen is more commonly used in mobile phones and tablets. If we talk about system unit, it's the CPU or the processor of the computer system. This system unit is the main part of computer. It includes motherboard, power supply, and drives such as DVD and hard disk inside the computer casing. All the IOs, inputs and output devices of a computer are connected to system unit through the ports. Motherboard. Motherboard is the main circuit board inside the system unit. It contains microprocessor, main memory, expansion cards, many IC chips, connectors, and other electronic components. It has many buses, electric pathways printed on it, and these are used to transmit information between various components of the computer. All the IOS devices are connected to the motherboard. Microprocessor. A microprocessor is the main chip on the motherboard that controls all the activities of computer. It is also known as central processing unit or simply processor. It control, uh, sorry, contains controls unit, CU, arithmetic logic unit, ALU, and registers. But these different names are actually the very first one ALU. ALU is a part of the computer that performs all the calculations and comparisons. It consists of arithmetic unit and logic unit. Arithmetic unit performs all the arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Logic unit performs logical operations which include comparisons of numbers or alphabets. These two Calculations are actually is the um, main function of this DH. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, along with comparisons of numbers are done inside ALG. Then control unit, which is CU. It controls operations of all components of the computer. It controls working of all IOS and storage devices 
and ALU as well. CU loads programs into memory and executes them. It consists of very complicated circuits. Then it comes registers. Registers are small memory units inside the microprocessor used to temporarily store information during the execution of a program. Some commonly used registers are instruction register, which is IR. Then it comes AR, which is accumulator register. Then DR, data register. And memory address register, which is MR. If we talk about storage devices, the storage devices are used to store programs and data that are not currently used by the computer. Or definitely for saving things. They have huge storage capacity, therefore they are also known as mass storage devices or secondary memory. Hard disk is the most commonly used storage device that is fixed inside the system unit. Portable storage devices are CD, DVD, memory cards and USB flash drive. Portable storage devices have less storage capacity than hard disk, but they are cheap and easy to get. Hard disk. A hard disk is a magnetic storage device used to store computer data. It has storage capacity of hundreds of GBs, gigabytes. It is fixed inside the computer casing. It's portable hard disk, also available that is attached to USB port. Then CD. CD stands for compact disk. It is a portable optical storage device with a storage capacity of 700 megabytes. A CD is 1.2 millimeter thick with a diameter of 120 millimeter. CD drive is used to read data from or write data to a CD. DVD. DVD stands for digital versatile disk. This digital versatile disk has the same thickness and diameter as CD but has more storage capacity. Its storage capacity is in the range of 4 to 16 GBs. A DVD writer is installed in the computer to read data from or write data to a DVD. A CD can also be used in a DVD writer. Memory card. Memory card is a small storage device having storage capacity of few gigabytes. It is available in different sizes and storage capacities. Memory cards are generally used in laptop computers and portable devices such as mobile phones and digital camera for storing pictures, audios and videos. Then the last one is USB flash drive. USB flash drive is a small portable drive that is connected to computer through USB port. It is also known as USB memory. It is very fast in operation and its storage capacity is up to 128 GB till now. That was all from today. Thank you so much for watching.